So on our website, we have a really popular free hard surface modeling course. And every single day, we get sets of questions that are basically just a different variation of the same question somebody else asked. And what I noticed is that a lot of people run into extremely simple issues that they don't realize they're running into. So in this video, I wanna show you some of the most common issues you're gonna run into in modeling and how to diagnose them and also how to fix them. Let's get started. So by far the most common issues you run into with the geometry is overlapping geometry. Now you might think you know what I'm talking about and you probably do, but there are situations that you should probably still um, consider and I'm gonna show you one here. So simply put, overlapping geometry means geometry occupying the same point in 3D space. So if I were to duplicate this vertex here, now you're gonna see I have two vertices in the same point in 3D space, as you can see. So right here I only have one, right here I have two. You see what I mean? Now, the way this could occur is through many different issues. Um, one of the most common ones that I think the majority of people run into is when they're extruding the geometry. So for example, what a lot of people might do is maybe they want to bevel this face, but maybe earlier on in their modeling process, they extruded this face and then changed their mind and canceled it and then tried to bevel. And then all of a sudden the bevel doesn't work. The reason this is occurring is because the extrusion basically got a separate face separate from um, you know, this one right here. So basically we have overlapping geometry on the same point in 3D space, you see what I mean? So now if I try to bevel this, it's basically not gonna bevel along the correct edge because this is just a two dimensional object. It's not gonna bevel down here like we might expect. So if you run into that issue, a very simple solution is to select everything, press the M key, and then merge by distance. And you're gonna see it removed 64 vertices, and now we don't have that overlapping geometry anymore. And if we try to bevel it, we don't have any issues. Now this same exact situation could occur by just duplicating the face. For example, if I duplicate the face by accident and I didn't realize I did it, the same type of issue might occur. You're gonna have the overlapping geometry and the bevel is just not gonna work. Again, if you want to remove that excess geometry, you select everything, M, and then merge by distance. Now, I would highly recommend getting the free machine tools add-on because you can just press the three key on the keyboard and it will automatically clean up any um, messy geometry like that. Now, another issue a lot of people run into is something like this, where maybe they have a loop and they want to bevel that loop so they can make some cool designs kind of like this, right? Now, a lot of times people might try to bevel this only to realize it won't actually bevel. And this right here is extremely simple. The reason this is occurring is because we have a non-manifold geometry. And in this case, that basically means we have a face on the interior that needs deleted. So if I go into wireframe and I select that interior face, press X, delete faces, and now we don't actually have the face. What we have instead is we have a set of edges here. And now instead of beveling you know, along that face, what it's gonna do instead is it's going to allow us to bevel along that edge. So be very, very careful of non-manifold geometry, especially faces on the interior of your solid objects. It's a very common issue that a lot of people don't, that a lot of people run into and don't realize they have on their geometry. And the final one I'd like to discuss here is the issue with a non-applied scale. This is probably the most common one. Most of you know how to fix it, but I'm gonna show you. So say you scale your object, and then you try to bevel maybe this top face, for example. It bevels quicker along the z-axis than it does the other axes. And the reason this is occurring is because Blender does not have the scale applied. Blender needs to interpret this as a uniform mesh. So we're gonna go into object mode press control A, scale, and now Blender is gonna bevel this uniformly along the axes just like we want, and we're not gonna have that issue. So those are probably the three most common issues people run into, and anytime you run into those problems, it is rarely an issue larger than that. It is almost always an issue with non-manifold geometry, overlapping geometry, or scale. So make sure next time you're running into weird issues, you go into wireframe mode, 
you take a look at the geometry make sure there's nothing weird if there's nothing weird the next thing you need to check is for overlapping geometry and if that's still not working then most likely there's something that you just missed that we already discussed in this video and need to take a look again because that is um, really the only way you're gonna have issues is with that scale the non-manifold geometry or the overlapping geometry so pretty basic video this week but this is something that I need to make sure people understand how to diagnose because it's extremely important especially when you're working on bigger projects so with that being said grab our free hard surface jumpstart course and hopefully you won't have those same problems because now you'll know how to fix them and I'll link that in the description again thanks for watching hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one